Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 8 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Write the decom decomposition that helps you and then round to the given place value. Draw number lines to explain your thinking. Circle the round value on each number line. Alright, so here we have 43.586 rounded to the nearest tenth, hundredth, and one. Let's write the one over here. And here we can do our hundredth, maybe. And then here we can do our tenth. So 43.586 is in between 43 and 44. Our midpoint will be 43.5. So it's also like 43.586. That's 43.5. So I'd be exactly here. So then this number would round up to 44. And for hundredths, we have um, 43.58 and 43.59. So our number in between would be 43.585. And we have 43.586, so that's just right slightly over. So then that means this number would round up to 43.59. And if we're writing to the nearest tenths, it's in between 43.5, 43.6. And our midpoint kind of would be 43.55. So here we have 43.58, so that'd be like here, I think. So then we round up to 43.6. Alright, and B, 243.875. So it's in the nearest tenth, hundred, tenth, and hundred. Okay. So let's do 100, or let's do 10 first. So here the star would be 243.8, and it'd be between 243.9. And our midpoint would be 243.85. So here we have 243.87, so I'd be like over here. So now I round up to 243.9. All right, and then now we have our tenth done. Let's do our hundredth. So here we have 243.87, and it's in between 243.88. So our midpoint would be 243.875. So we have 243.875, so that's exactly in the middle. And everything 5 and up would round up. So this would round up 243.88. Alright, and then for hundredth, we have our tenths. So this is in between 240 and 250. Between 245. So we have a 243, that would be right here. So we round down to 240. And for tens, we have hundreds. So 243 is in between 200 and 300, and our midpoint would be 250. 243 is like right here. So we round down to 200. All right, number two, a trip from New York City to Seattle is 2,852.1 miles. A family wants to make the drive in 10 days, driving the same number of miles each day. About how many miles will they drive each day? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a mile. So let's see, 2,852.1. We're dividing out to 10 days, so we're dividing by 10. So what we do when we divide by 10, just move the decimal one point to the left. That would be 285.21. That's how many day, miles I have to drive every day. But now it says round your answer to the nearest tenth. So this number is in between 285.2 and 285.3, and our midpoint would be like 285.25. So this is 0.21, and that would that be lower than 0.25. So I'd be like over here. So we round it down to 285.2. So that means they need to drive about... 285.2 miles each day.
Alright, next page. Alright, number three. A decimal number has two digits to the right of its decimal, so that means that it has, like, a, it's up to the hundredth place. If we round it to the nearest tenth, the result is 18.6. What is the maximum possible value of this number? Use words and number line to explain your reasoning. Include the midpoint on your number line. So at 18.6, so the max possible value of this number. So if we're rounding to 18.6, we know that everything like in the midpoint and beyond is like gonna round up. So the maximum possible value, so 18.6 and 18.7, our midpoint will be 18.5. But we know everything including 18.5, if it's greater than that, then that would round up to 18.7. So that means the number, the uh, one right below it would be 18.4. So that would be the maximum amount to round down to 18.6. So that would be 18.4. That would be the maximum number. Expl if you want to explain your thinking, um, right? Everything. Not everything. So. 18.5 and up would round to 18.7. If we can just say that, so then that means the number right below it would round down. And B, what is the minimum possible value of this decimal? Um, use words, pictures, or numbers to explain your reasoning. So we, here we have 18.5, and since we know that everything um, up like 18.5 and the point eight is 18 point five five so then everything 18.55 and up would be 18.6 which means 18.5 would be our minimum because if it was just one less like 18.4 it would round down to 18.5 so that's our minimum so 18.55 and up would round to 18.6. So then that means 18.5 would round to 18.6. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye!